Howie and Chris being around them, do they ever like fuck with you and like, hey, you don't have a Super Bowl ring? I mean, it it has come up, I it, guess. Because I would, I, if I were one of them, I would do that to you all. Dad, the time. I mean, Dad does it all the time. I that guess sucks. you know, uh, subconsciously, he does it without even doing it. I'm thinking that he's doing it in his mind, and it works, right? <laughs> like you just think about him holding his hand like this with a ring over it, and or he'll he, just look at you and be like. Not Super Bowl material. <laughs> yeah, not Super Bowl material. <laughs> hey, so hey, mean. you're. Pl- I remember there was a lot of talks with him that was like, "This is the test of a man. Are you going to show up and play football when your team is three and twelve? It's week sixteen, and you're in, you know, whatever Minnesota." And I probably gave up a sack that yep, game too, yeah, yeah. and blamed it on Jay no. not stepping up. No, that you didn't give up that as per usual. Yeah, go watch the film. Brian Robinson, good player, <laughs> white guy. You, you did sneaky, not give up. Fast. You were a very good player. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you my Hall of Fame. Were you, Sometimes, who's yeah. better, you or Chris? At oh, the peak of your powers, Chris was a sack getter and a run stopper. I was probably a much better run blocker than I am a pass blocker. He was more complete. He was an equilateral triangle. Yeah, equ- equiangular. Yeah, yeah. Is it equiangular? I think it's. You can say whatever. Like equ- equiangular sounds, right. sounds way cooler. You're not. That sounds yeah. sick. You, you're the fact that you even know what a triangle is with your uh, cape and, and hat. Yeah, like, that's good. You're doing well. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're we're getting started on the right foot. Do you remember? Um, I I remember so vividly. We went to a Blackhawks game. It was your rookie year. Yes. And it was like you were like, this is awesome. Like everyone was like, Kyle, 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 you're fucking, you're the man. And then like, and then they're booing you out of the stadium. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then like the Bears happened, and you're like. Oh shit! It was this a, isn't as fun. It was a pro. It was a learning process, man. You guys were so good to me early, like particularly you, Big Cat, and I appreciate that. I've never thanked you publicly, but oh, it's thank like, you. hey, you're welcome. I, I did, I, you know, the media. I didn't know how to navigate it. It's a huge market out there, and I can see why guys like Justin Fields are struggling. Yeah, and, and sometimes they're at a loss for words or the right words to say. Dude, I actually Jay was like, go to the podium. I'm not fucking doing it. Yeah. And I had experience as a rookie. So I referenced you uh, twice the last week because Justin Fields obviously had his comments where he was like, uh, we we care more. And fans got mad about that. And I said that was actually very similar. Remember after I think it was the Dolphins game and you were like unacceptable for the fans to boo us. And everyone was like, no, fuck you, dude. It's unacceptable that you say that (laughs) he needs a, he needs a friend like you in Chicago to reach out and say, Hey, like, just don't say that. That's right. Yeah. You're fucking right. But don't say it. But people's (laughs) wounds are just as fresh as yours. And they can't wait to point two fingers, the middle ones at you. So what is the roadmap? If if you're giving Justin Fields advice on, on how to handle the media, because we've talked about it a little bit and I think, I've come to the conclusion that there's a lot of stuff that you just have to lie about all the time. Like if you're, especially if you're a quarterback, you can't be honest. There's no way that you can be completely honest right. and have people happy with you because of course you don't give a shit about every single fan in attendance. You care more about the people that you go to work with every day that you practice with. I think everybody would feel that way. It's not to say that you don't care about the fans, but you probably care more about the guy that you spend, you know, 80 hours a week next to fighting with. You just can't say it. So what would you, what would your advice be? Like, what are some things not to say or some things that you found that you can just, like, pull out of your ass at any time and just, like, throw that out? Here's some red pretty, meat. There you go. Pretty basically, I would say be yourself, but always keep in mind how the message is going to be received. Mm-hmm. So there's there's two parties to the phone call that you're making. You know, you're going to say something, and then somebody's going to be on the receiving end, and how are they going to receive it? Be yourself. The emotion is going to be there. People don't need a calculator to figure out how you feel about it, but the way you put it can – set you up to have 20 30 40 50 years of success in that city people will love you based on how you treat them and in large part a lot of people aren't going to meet you so what you say to them on camera feels like their first time meeting you yeah Yeah, that's that's really smart it's a good point to think about it like if you even if you have like a mediocre career in a certain city especially if it's a big city like chicago um if you're just nice to the media there and fans like you you're right. Like you will be set up if you want to get into, I don't know, like opening restaurants or a car dealership or whatever. People are going to remember that. They're going to remember that. It's yeah. good. And they're like, I saw him on that interview one time. And he always and played he hard. He mentioned yeah. his kid. And you yeah. know what? I fucking respect him. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. He talked about bear weather and played yeah. hard. Yeah. And it's like, mm-hmm. played fo- all you have to do, Virginia McCaskey, the goal every week, she, you know, we'd get the goal from, you know, I talked to Virginia. Here's what she said. <laughs> Play hard nose bear football. <laughs> yeah. That's all they fucking care about. We should play that hard <laughs> and beat the shit out of people, <laughs> and then beat the Packers. Yeah. That's like that's rule number one. Yeah, but that two. doesn't. So maybe we, like has she thought about like like 
let's let it fly or something. I don't you know, know. Like throw it Play downfield. Play technically <laughs> sound <laughs> football. Yeah. Or maybe just weird. reversing one and two, beat the Packers one, and then I like yeah. beat them up too. Yeah. Or just take it off the list. 